What's up guys, Lucas here, and in today's video, I'm going to do a quick comparison review between Malved VPN and NordVPN. So if you've been wondering which is the better VPN service, then you're in the right place. Okay, NordVPN and Malved both fall among the top VPN services, and it's because of this that subscribers often have a tough time distinguishing between the two. So if you're trying to sort between Malved and NordVPN, this comparison video will go a long way in helping you out. However, before I get into the details, there are a few things you'll need to remember. First, Malved is a privacy-based VPN from Sweden, and its primary aim is to provide its clients with solid encryption and a safe online environment with no connection logs. Second, NordVPN is one of the best overall VPN services that I've reviewed. In fact, they honestly excel in security, anonymity, speed, uh, bypassing geoblocks, and just about every other important feature that you might want in a VPN. And if you want to learn more, I will put a link to my full NordVPN review in the description below. Okay, I kicked off my comparison research by looking at the speed of each VPN. After testing Malved using different servers, I noticed a few things. For instance, the European locations gave me excellent speeds, and at some point I forgot I was using a VPN. However, when it came to transatlantic servers, it was quite slow. Still, I was able to download and stream content. However, if you're looking for a VPN for high-speed applications like gaming, then I would lean toward NordVPN. Its low level of latency is something that gamers love. The only challenge with Nord is that you'll have to wait for maybe 13 seconds for it to connect to a decent server. And as for the number of servers, I found that NordVPN has over 5,100 servers in 60 countries. But Malved is not clear on its number of servers. With such a large server network, Nord is suitable for more activities including downloading torrents, plus they have uh, unlimited bandwidth. Now in terms of support, I found that it's another area that Malved struggles with. They don't have a live chat system and the only way you can reach out to their support staff is through email. Um, and unfortunately their reaction time is quite slow. Then as for Nord, you have a lot of communication services to choose from. You can talk to their staff either by email or through their 24-7 live chat system, or you can go through their frequently asked questions page for a suitable solution to your problem. And then when it came to performance, I found NordVPN to be pretty reliable uh, and it didn't store your browser history. It also has an attractive design and unique website layout. And with Nord, you can unblock geo-restricted streaming sites like Netflix at no additional costs. Nord also works well on different operating systems, whether you're using a laptop, tablet, uh, desktop, or smartphone to access content. It's also helpful that it uses strong ciphers and security protocols such as OpenVPN and the 256-bit uh, AES double encryption. And then as for Malved VPN, I found that it performs similarly to NordVPN in some ways. For example, it doesn't store connection logs, nor does it track online activity. Malved also uses the OpenVPN protocol, which is the quickest security service available today. Uh, its value for privacy means that, like Nord, it has some of the best security features. Malved secures your connection with the RSA-4096 handshake, HMACSHA-1 hash authentication, and AES-256-GCM. It even has a Hellman DNE-4096 key exchange for better secrecy and is reset within intervals uh, of 60 minutes. Sadly though, despite such impressive security protocols, it can't even access content from sites like Netflix. And then, in terms of pricing, I found that NordVPN offers a better value overall compared to Malved VPN. You can get NordVPN for just under $4 per month if you sign up for a two-year plan. Malved, on the other hand, starts closer to $6 per month. Sure, Malved supports up to three simultaneous connections with no money-back guarantee, but NordVPN, on the other hand, supports up to six simultaneous connections with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So with these differences, I can't help but say that NordVPN honestly is the better value. Not only is it more affordable, but you get support for more devices and a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you don't have to worry about losing money for VPN service if you don't like it. So hopefully this video was helpful. If so, please feel free to give a thumbs up, as that always makes my day. And just a reminder, if you're interested in trying out NordVPN, please be sure to check out the special discount links I'll put in the description area below, so that way you can save some money. Also, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the Cyber Family. Be sure to stay safe, and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.